Okay, so morning guys, welcome to another review from me, Matt. The Beauty Berserker! Hope you're having a fantastic day, wherever you are in the world, whatever you're getting up to, and whatever you are doing. Bank holiday Monday, apparently it's going to be a scorcher out there today, I'm not particularly keen on the heat, I'm looking forward to autumn and winter, my favourite times of the year, but yeah, still got to go through the summer phase. Before we start, huge, massive, massive thank you to each and every one of you guys there out there that's following me over there on Instagram as Viking Beard Matt. And also for watching my videos, liking, commenting, and subscribing if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Nearly coming up to 15,000 views, which is absolutely ridiculous considering it's just me, an old git sitting in front of my iPad, giving you guys completely honest reviews. With all the reviews that I do on this channel and everything, this channel that I set up is not about me. It's me personally trying to help, support, promote, kind of advertise and encourage these small brands out there, small businesses, small companies and individuals and craftsmen that are making some amazing, amazing products and not these huge, massive brands that, let's face it, they've got a shed ton of money that they can find in marketing, promoting and advertising their products that these smaller brands don't have. So the smaller brands almost have to work infinitely harder because they know as soon as their product goes out onto the market, they're going to be in direct competition with other brands, plus these huge, massive brands. And I'm not dead against these huge, massive brands out there, but like I say, they've got so much sort of money that they can throw into advertising. It tends to be a bit soulless and a bit sort of hollow and empty feeling. They know that as soon as they throw their label on something, whatever it might be, it's just going to sell because it's got their label on. So these small brands and craftsmen and individuals out there have to get their sort of products as on point as they possibly can do because they know they're going to be in direct competition. Now with all the reviews that I do on my channel, I am completely honest. Since day one, I get asked this so many times, like... Oh, do, how much do you charge? And I don't charge anything for doing these reviews. I'm a consumer the same as everyone else. And I go out, I work a full-time job. And there is nothing worse than going out and spending our cash and everything on products, whatever it might be, getting it at home. It doesn't live up to expectation, falls apart. We don't use it. It sits there gathering dust or we give it to someone we don't like as a birthday present. So from the beginning, all my reviews are completely honest. I'm not affiliated to any of these brands whatsoever. Everything I do is my own opinion and I'm completely unbiased. Because if I was a small brand out there, individual making something, putting it onto the market, I would kind of want to know the negative points more than the positive points. Because there's no point in me just going, yeah, it's fantastic, it's fantastic, it's fantastic. If there is a negative point, obviously it's kind of quite handy for a third person to come along and go, yeah, it could be slightly better or it'd be nice if this happened or whatever because sometimes you forget things and everything else. So I have another review for you guys this morning and this is from a UK brand. I'm going to need my glasses because they've got my notes and plus a mould and I've just flung it on the floor. So from a UK chap called Cy from Cornwall um, and he has created a brand called Pick Your Band which basically he sent something through uh, in the post for me to have a look at, see what I think of, and basically give you guys my honest opinion. It arrived on Saturday, and so here we go. Now, first thing that came through, in, well, came through in the post, I'm gonna hide my address so you can't see it, was um, basically the box with pick your brand and the, his address on the bottom there. And the thing that I really, really like about Pick Your Brand, or sorry, Pick Your Band, is everything he makes is handcrafted. He's completely into upcycling, recycled. He uses no plastic whatsoever, apart from in the product that he kind of upcycles, which we'll look at at the moment. And he has sent through a card and card I will be putting links down below in the description box and also a handwritten card as well which is nice and the thing that I like 
is this whole recycled and upcycled stuff. There's so much plastic and crap in the world and everything. And as you probably know, my job is about teaching little people about sort of like beach conservation, marine conservation, looking after animals and the environment and everything. And so it's really nice to see Cy is kind of like really into this and about sort of like making the most and upcycling stuff. Now, hi Matt, a lot more information about, uh, and basically it's about the products that he sent, but it's really nice when I get these hand sort of written letters and everything because it, it means a lot to me and just kind of shows that they've got passion in what they're doing. And also there is a Pick Your Brand, which there's his logo, Devil Horns, uh, Pick Your Band, um, established Kernai 2018, unique, handmade and recycled. Hi Matt, thanks again for checking Pick at Your Band. Pick Your Band out. I hope you like the set release. And I have got a code for this, which I will put in at the end of the review, to which you will get 10% off of your order, which is always a good thing. Sending money, uh, saving money. Sorry. So. Arriving in the post inside the box was another box and this is made by the tiny box company and as you possibly know They're kind of like an eco-friendly uh, box making brand and they all their sort of boxes and everything that they do uh, up, so, uh, Sorry, re made out of recycled products um, Paper and card and everything. So there you go. Nice little logo kind of silvery Metallic look and inside Sleep. Some black tissue paper, and again, pick your band. And what Cy does basically is, we all love music in life. If you know what I mean, I particularly I play the guitar, and believe it or not, you wouldn't notice it looking at me. But I used to sing in a band and everything. I play the guitar. Or I also play the keyboard. And what he does is he makes picks, guitar picks. Um, basically out of your favorite CDs. Now he's got a load of them on his website, um, kind of sort of mainstreamy sort of ones. Um, so if you want to get one of those, also he will try and sort of like source the CD, music, band, whichever that you are into. And when we've been chatting backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards on Instagram, he said, what are your favorite bands? Now I do like a lot of rock mainly kind of like my earlier stuff I like Metallica I know Slipknot's not particularly early rock and everything but I kind of like my traditional stuff and everything and so he said give us a list of the names of the bands that you like and he'll see what he can do and this is the one that he has come up with I do like Rob Zombie as well as his films and everything uh, this is the album Hillbilly Deluxe which he has sourced because as you know Kind of CDs are dead now, everything's MP3, MP4 players and everything like that. So playing a CD in your home doesn't really happen anymore. So you've got all this plastic and everything that's been used in these CDs that is basically just going to waste. So inside the box you have the kind of insert, the original uh, booklet that you got with the CD. Like I say this is Rob Zombie. Uh, Hillbilly Deluxe album, which funnily enough, I still have through there on CD. And then what he has done is yeah, he has actually used the CD that's inside, handcrafted it into, and sort of like shaped it and cut it down into guitar picks. So if you were to go and buy one from his site, this is the actual CD itself. And if you look, you can see the actual CD on the back of it. So if you to go out and buy this, you tend to get your necklace and your three picks inside, okay? So this is what you get, it's on a leather kind of necklace called thong, whichever you want to call it. And you can see the graphics of the, <coughs> excuse me, Hillbilly Deluxe um, CD that's inside. And it's so nice to see because like I say, you go now to some of these secondhand shops, I'm not going to say CEX and stuff like that and everything else. But CDs are kind of like dead. Nobody buys CDs any, anymore because you can either watch it, listen to it, download it and everything else. So there's so much plastic and everything else like that in the world that it's really nice to see that he's 
it's a really clever idea, in my opinion, to go out, source these CDs and everything else, and actually turn them into and make something with it. Now, one of the things that I was kind of worried about with CDs, because obviously, kind of plastic and sharp and everything else, and they are handcrafted and handmade. I was kind of worried about sort of sharp edges and everything else, and it was like, yeah, I don't kind of want to wear something if I'm going to have stuff splintering off into my skin, and it is not really well sanded and finished and everything like that. And also, which he is not on the website as yet, which he has started doing, or going to be doing, is there is a pin badge as well, made up from the same CD. It's kind of one of your post pins with a locking pin on the bic. There you go, which is really, really nice. So there you go. And also, he has sent through a key ring too which I assume he's going to be doing, um, but like I say, there he's not started doing it yet, but he's looking at sort of doing that. And it's so nice, you know, to be able, as with the music that you like, enjoy, love, whichever, that you can go out and you can get, kind of like a pin badge, that's going to go straight onto my jacket, this will go onto my car keys, and this will hang in the review room. And I... It's just such a good idea with sort of upcycling, recycling. Um, there's no plastic involved at all in what he makes, other than the plastic, obviously, that's in the picks um, that he does. And I'm going to get the guitar out later and try this actually on my guitar. It's got a nice bit of flex to it as well, because you should be able to use this as a guitar pick. Okay, it's going to scratch it on the strings and everything but it's got a nice bit of flex to it, so it's not just rigid and everything. And it's gonna, I should imagine it's gonna create quite a nice sound. And it just, it, they just finished really, really well, if you know what I mean. There's no jagged points on them or anything at all. I like the way, especially with some of the CDs as well, because you obviously kind of get like your pictures and prints and everything on CD as opposed to just a primary color or something like that. And I do like the way that he's kind of taking the best points from the Rob Zombie Hillbilly Deluxe um, CD and kind of turn them into these, which is absolutely phenomenal. I really, really like what he's doing. And I it, like it even more because, like I say, it's kind of all upcycled um, as opposed to just filling landfill sites up full of CDs because people don't want them or buy them anymore. I like the fact that it's, even his packaging is made from, or made by the Tiny Box Company, which is really nice. And also inside there was a card as well. And pick your band's unique guitar pick jewelry handmade from recycled CDs in the UK uh, from Psy. And like I said, I do have a code for you guys. The code is lowercase thanks 10. And if you use that code at the checkout, you will get 10% off. And for four picks, kind of including the necklace pick as well, um, you get four picks in all for 20 pound. And like I say, he's either got it in stock or he will try and source it. Ridiculously well made. Really, really nice finish to them. They don't feel cheap and horrible or anything like that. Really nicely done. And especially the fact that, like I say, they are upcycled as well. As opposed to just filling the world full of shitty plastic that you can't get rid of and then animals die and kids tread on it on the beach and all that malarkey and everything. So it's really nice to see something do it. Somebody making something really nice out of kind of secondhand stuff which is, again, what this channel is about. It's about trying to help and support these people that are kind of eco-friendly and everything and thinking about what they're using in their products as opposed to, yeah, we'll just churn out more crap and everything. So upcycling, recycling, handcrafted, no plastic conservation, fantastic in my books and scores top marks. I will be putting this on my jacket, like I said, this will go on my car keys. And this one will hang in the review room. So 
as you probably know, I've got a Halloween special coming up on the 31st of October, so please stay tuned for that because I'm going to be doing a live giveaway, a uh, few review live reviews as well, and there's going to be a mad one. And it's just really nice, and as, like I say as well, you get the booklet through from the actual CD um, that you've chosen or bought from the website. Ridiculously good. I will be putting links down below in the description box. I really, really wish Sai all the best on this project um, because I cannot fault it at all. And the fact that he's using old for new is fantastic. And thank you very much to Sai for sending that through. I really, really appreciate it. The things of beauty from something of old. So thank you guys. I hope you have a fantastic bank holiday weekend or wherever you are and whatever you're getting up to. Keep on taking care of each other. Keep on looking after each other. Keep on helping, supporting each other. And above all, keep on loving each other and growing those beards. And should anyone out there need any help, support, promoting their products, advertising and stuff like that, please get in touch with me either over there on Instagram as Viking Beard Matt, drop us a comment down below, even email me. But thank you guys. I hope you have a wonderful what's left of the weekend for work tomorrow. Have a great one, guys. Thank you.